So this is the center where it all happens. The yeah, exactly. We are, we're making food here at, at this very moment without agriculture. What we're doing is that we're bringing a, a new harvest, growing um, a new harvest for, for the humankind. These scientists have done something remarkable. Oh, look at this stuff. It's, it's amazing color, isn't it? It's golden. So does this flower count as food legally? Not yet, no. They've produced this flower from thin air. Jolt of electricity and bacteria. In a strictly unscientific trial, I'm one of the first people in the world to be allowed to taste it. So this is quite a historic occasion because um, it's the first time you cook pancakes out of this stuff for a guest, isn't it? You yeah, cooked yeah, it once yeah. as a practice. Yeah, yeah. They tell me this powder is about 60% protein, six times more than wheat flour. Mm. I feel like um, I'm in unexplored territory here. <laughs> you really wouldn't know that that wasn't a conventional pancake made with eggs. I'm sure my grandchildren will find it very odd if they find a real egg in their fridge. Grandpa, did, did you really steal this from a chicken? I, I, I would eat that every morning, no trouble. That is lovely. The plan is to mould and shape this electric protein into a huge number of different foodstuffs. It's a revolutionary idea. Growing food from microbes would do away with crops and farm animals and use only the land on which the factories would sit. Food's global footprint would be miniaturized. All this starts with just a few bacteria taken from the soil. So from these tiny beginnings, you could feed how many people? Any number of people because it, I mean, it will start to grow and multiply. The bacteria are fed on a diet of water, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. All these components can be drawn from the air. Apart from that, they need only a small amount of salts. So almost everything we eat at the moment comes originally from plants, turning sunlight into energy, and then so if we eat animals, they're eating the plants, which should turn the sunlight into energy. This is something completely different. Yeah, we skip all of that. We, we think that um, if we want to make a fundamentally more efficient food system, we can go from electricity directly to edible calories. They use electricity to split apart water molecules to produce the hydrogen that feeds the bacteria. The recent boom in renewable energy means that this electricity comes at a low carbon cost. Even if they use the most land-intensive renewable solar power, the team claims they could supply enough protein to feed all the world's people in an area the size of Ohio. We can produce food in the, in the desert, we can produce food even in the Arctic, in dark, um, and uh, even in space. Within five years, they want their first factory to be making electric protein as cheap as soya. <laughs>